Welcome back, everybody, to your late night update on your first, second, and now your third stimulus check update. The CARES package, the relief package, executive orders, PPP, EIDL, targeted grants. We talk it all here on this channel, including building wealth strategies and financial education. It is late in the evening on February 26th. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, this video is going to be focused on EIDL, a bit of a late night update for all of my East Coast viewers. Uh, late East Coast viewers and my evening West Coast viewers who missed our afternoon briefing on EIDL. We have some new updates from our afternoon briefing, so let's get straight into it. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Edward Builder. To all my loyal subscribers out there, welcome back for another video. And if you are joining us for the first time today, welcome. Remember to do your part, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Smash your like button if you think we're doing a great job. Make it change colors, okay? You can join us on other videos where we talk building wealth strategies, passive income through real estate, stock market, and royalties. On this video, we're going to talk EIDL. This is for the late night viewers out there. If you are watching us and you are an EIDL viewer, Check out PPP, the changes that are going on in the PPP world makes so many people more eligible that were not eligible before because now they're going to go off of gross income. So check out my videos on PPP. It's the primary reason why like Uber drivers and service industry shifted over to EIDL because it's off of gross income. It was off of net income before and now it's going to expand this program to so many people who truly need it. So check out PPP. No credit check loans, turns into free forgiven money up to $20,000. You could 2X that now to $40,000. So go check that out. Okay, this video is going to talk about the targeted advanced grants, the updates, and the status. We're going to go over that map and the email hack, okay, that is working. So we want to get into the details on the email hack. And we're going to talk about the changes in the stimulus bill and how it affects that $5,000 of extra money. There are new updates since our afternoon. We're going to find out what's going on with that $15 minimum wage and if it's going to stop this bill from passing, yes or no. Let's get straight into the news. Before we get this kicked off, leave us a comment below uh, if you received your targeted advance grant email, what month you applied, and whether or not you got any type of advance. All right, we're trying to sort out some things here and help everybody on, the, on this channel. All right, let's start by talking the current status, okay? Because remember, the current law is that the SBA will only service targeted advance grants to priorities one and then next priorities two, okay? So they will not go one and two simultaneously. The rules here are that you must have a 30% reduction in gross receipts over an eight week period that is March 2nd through March, through December 27th. And if you need help figuring out how to get this done, you could check out this video right here where I could send you a nice little spreadsheet and it teaches you exactly how to figure out if you had a 30% reduction in gross receipts. The second rule is that you need to have 300 or fewer employees. And finally, the rule that everybody really doesn't like is that you must be in a low income community. Now, I do know that emails are being sent to individuals that are not in a low income community. And I basically tell them, hey, look, when in doubt, you can fill that thing out. The SBA, if they feel that you are not in a low income community, they will reject the application and decline it. Now, if you would like to know ahead of time, if you are in one of those low income zones, you could follow this link right here and it will walk you through the steps on how to use the SBA's map that is found in the description of this video. Now, priorities one and two are only servicing individuals that applied prior to 1227 of 2020. Anybody who applies after 1227 of 2020 will not qualify for an advanced grant or a targeted advanced grant. And they are priority one is any individual who received any money from $1,000 to $9,000 and you will receive the balance of that $10,000 if you qualify under the eligibility. Priority number two is anybody who didn't receive any funds. So if you got zero funds during this time before December 27th of 2020, uh, you will now get the full $10,000. Okay, but let's talk that email hack here for a second because I have a lot of skeptics that are saying, no, that thing doesn't work. But it has worked for thousands so far. Uh, probably about now 3,500 people have messaged me on YouTube and Instagram thanking me for the email hack because in some cases, it comes back instantly within 24 hours with your portal invitation. And in other cases, you have to wait up to about six days before somebody at the SBA finally wakes up, reviews that email and sends you back your invitation to the portal, okay? So it is important to check out my four-step EIDL targeted advanced grant video. You can find it here in the link above my head. 
Uh, it basically walks you through four steps of understanding if you qualify, how to find out if you qualify, and then takes you inside the portal. And if you don't have your portal invite, it tells you how to get the email hack, okay? So check that video out. Now the, the SBA, what they're doing, I'll just kind of lay this out for you. What they're doing is they're using an automated email system. I mean, they get like millions of emails each day. And that email system sorts out all the emails and basically puts them into certain buckets. Those buckets will send back automated responses. So if you were in some type of reconsideration process, when it sees your email, it's gonna send you back some information on reconsideration. If you've been denied for a loan or something, it will send you back information on that denial. If you are simply waiting for your targeted advance grant email, it will send you back this automated response telling you to wait your turn or go check out all this other all these other sources of information. But the main point here is that all emails will reach the SBA and will start to trigger new automated responses. Those new automated responses within 24 hours to six days later include your invitation to the portal, okay? So many of you that are seeing that invitation to the portal have been using this email hack and finding it to be very successful. I spent what feels to be almost a lifetime as an aerospace engineer and a systems engineer building similar email tricks just like you see here at the SBA. And now I get to teach people like yourselves with just $100 in their pocket, how to earn extra $5,000 a month in the passive real estate game. We could talk about those on other videos and you can find me on Instagram if you want some private consulting. Now for the March and April uh, Vortex members that are watching us here for the first time, it's very important that you send the second email that's found in the description because this email is to trigger the SBA of a glitch that they have in their system. Basically, if you're in the March and April timeframe, we are finding much feedback from all of our viewers here and on Instagram that they were in March, they received their $1,000 grant, they were in the vortex, and they did not receive their targeted advance grant. Oh, and by the way, they are also low income, okay? Big problem here because the SBA has no clue that they're missing it. So to fix this problem, the SBA's automated system has to pick up on the same message over and over again from thousands of you in order to assign this to a human to go out and fix it. We are using this email in the description to define the March and April as a problem so that we could get thousands of you to send a message to the SBA to fix this problem. <laughs> so I thank you so much for sending this email because you're not just helping yourself, but you are helping thousands of other individuals that were in March and April who were stuck in that vortex and they are not receiving their current targeted advance grant invitation to the portal. So I thank you guys so much. I know it could be frustrating, but we do all appreciate it. Now it's important to stay on top of the news and the updates because in the current bill, the new reconciliation bill that is about to pass in the house today, possibly tomorrow, this is for the $1,400 stimulus checks, the child tax credits, and the $15 minimum wage. Well, there is also $15 billion included for EIDL targeted advanced grants. And this basically changes the rules a little bit, okay? It reduces the employee size down to 10 or fewer employees, still, still requiring you to be in low income, but applies these two new rules, a 50% reduction in gross receipts, followed later by a 30% reduction in gross receipts for an eligibility of an additional $5,000 on top of your current $10,000. Now, like I said, it's important to follow the news because just yesterday, a massive blow was delivered by the parliamentarian, uh, Elizabeth McDonough. Now, this is a person who's completely neutral, who basically decides on the rules. It's like a referee. And they take the current rule book and decide whether or not certain items belong inside the reconciliation bill or not. Well, the parliamentarian delivered yesterday news that the $15 minimum wage cannot be included inside this bill. Well, with the parliamentarian ruling that the $15 minimum wage does not belong inside the stimulus bill, it left a lot of open questions to whether or not the House was going to remove that section from the bill in order to get the whole stimulus package to go through. I mean, that's that extra $5,000 for EIDL and the extra $15 billion that's heading towards EIDL. So what happened? Well, Nancy Pelosi came on the, on the air today to say that they are not going to stop the stimulus bill from going through. And that means that the $15 an hour minimum wage will be removed. So the House is reacting to it. This is the new breaking information that we didn't have this afternoon. The House is essentially going to remove the $15 an hour minimum wage in order to make sure that stimulus can still reach the American people. And that is great news. So when will this pass the House? Well, they're talking like 4 a.m. on Saturday evening. That's pretty crazy. I don't know why I don't know why Congress would stay up until 4 a.m. To, to vote. Wouldn't you just 
stop the voting and just pick it up the next day. I, I, I don't know. That's wild to me. Maybe they all party afterwards. Who knows? But ultimately, this is good news because... We truly need our funds. We need to get back to a state of normal, and we need to get out and start investing again. In the description, you could check out right now Webull and M1 Finance. Webull wants to give you two free stocks valued up to about $1,800 after you deposit $100 into the platform. And M1 Finance wants to give you a $30 sign-on bonus after you deposit $100 into the platform. You take the $130 and invest it any which way you want on the platform. I use both of these platforms every day. Uh, Webull's kind of fun. They have all sorts of little games that you can play. Basically, you post into your Facebook to get new people to sign up. And they'll let you spin a wheel where you can win anywhere between $10 and $20 worth of free stocks. I do this daily and win like, you know, $20 worth of free stocks. I trade them in and then I go and spend that $20 on whatever I'm investing in for that particular time. So it's pretty cool. Check them out in the description. And don't forget about my 10K giveaway. If this video right here, it's 10,000 views. I'm picking a lucky subscriber from in this video who comments to send a $100 stimulus check to. And in a few days, I'm going to be turning 10,000 subscribers where I'm going to pick from all of my videos a lucky subscriber who comments in any video to send a $500 stimulus check to. You can find me on Instagram by following me in the description. Don't follow anybody else asking you to join them on Instagram. They want to scam you. They've even cloned my face, sent a fake number. I'm very disappointed with YouTube for not blocking this. I mean, straight identity theft is, is what that is. I thank you all again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.